been a disastrously horrible day. So exhausted from having to walk instead of ski that by the time we stopped at four o'clock, um, I just felt so nauseous and sick through exhaustion. And uh, on top of that, I'm feeling strangely homesick and just keep bursting into tears for no apparent reason. Um, it's strange to be homesick when you only left home the day before yesterday. Uh, I can only assume it's being actually just away from anything and everything as opposed to my home in particular. The distances out here are so deceptive. It's amazing that uh, for the last two days we've been walking solidly uh, along this valley uh, trying to head for this fjord and since the very beginning it just looked like it was a few feet away and we were going to be there, maybe two kilometres and we were going to be there in a few hours and uh, still two days on and we haven't reached it yet. It's been an incredibly bitter day, uh, I mean well below minus 40, most of it coming from the wind chill. Again, it's coming directly into our faces, making for a really unpleasant day. And uh, frostbite being our biggest problem today, it's the slightest moment with skin showing and uh, we definitely catch frostbite, which made going, for, going to the toilet a little earlier a bit worrying. I'm hoping my bum is still okay. In all my years of having come up to these islands, I've never ever seen so many days of blue sky and it's been fantastic in the sense of photographs and being able to see the sun come over the horizon but for Katie it's been a real baptism by fire. Uh, the average temperature up here is normally about minus 16, minus 17 or so and because we haven't had the cloud cover to keep any of the temperature, the warmth of the islands in. Uh, most of the last week has been spent with temperatures on our thermometers of sort of minus 27 to minus 30. Uh, so it really has been an unbelievably cold time up here. I'm so cold. I've never been so cold in all my life. I hurt. I'm so cold. Oh.